Hi viewers, before beginning the session, I would like to put some questions. Why do we use metals? Do all the metals give much durable durability? Do the metals corrode? If they corrode, what are the conditions at which they corrode? In this session, let us try to test in what condition the metal iron get rust. The corrosion is nothing but the metals oxidize in the presence of oxygen. They lose their strength. They, they form a new compound, the metallic oxides. So here, in this session, how iron forms ionic oxide, iron oxide or ferric oxide, or how do iron get rust, at what conditions, let us try to do a simple experiment. For that, I have taken three test tubes, mark A, B and C and some understood nails and later to close it we have used rubber cards some water and anhydrous calcium chloride and some oil with this material let us test at what condition iron gets get rust so for that first i have taken so some water, in that water, I place some iron nails which are at unrest. Water and air column is there. When I draw iron nails, some part of the iron nails are immersed in water, whereas some part is in the air. Now I am placing a rubber cork or even you need to close it because some air is required, air and water combination with the nail. In the second thing, I dropped iron nails and later I put some water in it. Above that, the nails are completely immersed in water and the oil has come up. Oil seals, oil prevents the oxygen to dissolve in water. So here only water is available with the nails. No air or moisture or oil is there but no oxygen is present there. Air is present. This is the thought test tube. In thought test tube I don't pour any water or oil. Just I am placing nails you see take care while dropping it just you don't drop from the uh, sharp edge just on the walls just you do like this so three nails are here now it is named as C now you put some anhydrous chloride what is what is the role of it just if there is any moisture in it this anhydrous chloride absorbs that moisture that means water vapor won't be available in that. So there are three conditions, three situations where we are trying to see. In first test tube, water and air are available. In second test tube, only nails are immersed in water. In the third test tube, only Oxygen is a, air is available but moisture, moisture is observed by calcium chloride. These three test tubes observe for three or four days. Observe, keep, keep it a place and observe for, observe after three or four days. If you want you can record your observation every day what is happening. And after three or four days what will be your observation? Your observation will be the, the nails in the first test tube get rusted whereas nails in the second test tube that is B or in C did not get rust. Why? The basic reason is here in the first case 
water and oxygen both are available so iron nail reacted with moisture that is air and water and it formed its oxide so it get pressed but whereas in the second test tube though water is available no oxygen is available no air is available therefore it couldn't get any rust the third test tube air is available but no water is available therefore it too did not get rust so from this simple activity or experiment we can conclude that rust of any metal forms in two conditions one is moisture should be available the another is water should be available in the presence of air and water all the metals try to corrode that means corrosion means forming their oxides metallic oxides but how to prevent corrosion we know the reason now the reason is when moisture or the oxygen is present metals are corroding their surfaces when they are exposed into moisture then they are corroding so first to prevent that what we supposed to do is their surface shall not be in contact with the moisture and air if you could able to prevent that then the metals do not corrode for that usually what do we do just we paint the metals or we apply some oil over the surfaces or we may apply some varnishes so that you are preventing moisturized air to be in contact with the surface of the metals the second one you may go for the electroplating or you may cover that with the, the metals which do not easily oxidizable so that we can prevent it the next one is galvanization galvanization means iron rod is coated with zinc coat that metal oxidizes but it prevents to oxidize the iron rod which is inside usually we use gi pipes what is gi pipes galvanized iron pipes that means galvanized iron means zinc is coated over the iron pipe zinc oxidizes and prevents iron to be oxidized and later we can use make of alloys mixture of some metals together forms an alloy these alloys also do not uh, corrode easily so corrosion can be prevented by making alloys of different metals usually we can uh, we see different uh, alloy stainless steel the major alloy what we use as stainless steel we use those utensils utensils to eat as plate or uh, uh, cooking vessel vessels they do not get rust though they are made up of iron but some carbon is added in it the percentage of carbon is added therefore it do not get rust so here to use the metals most effectively and use its strength what we supposed to do is let us not to let us do not allow the metals to be oxidized easily that is corrosion shall not take place to prevent corrosion there are different methods already we discussed and now what you supposed to do is in what way we can prevent copper for, from corrosion and discuss and try to make a note thank you